That, that my, my buddy told me this one time that that that, he, that always caught my eye, and it, it caught my ear. And when he said when he said he, he picked up a he picked up a penny, and I was like, "Yo, you picked up a penny." He's like, "Bro, I was a jaybird. That's what it was." He's like, "A blessing is a blessing, no matter how small." And I was just like, "Damn, that hit deep." So now. Like, hey, if I see a penny, I'm, I'll pick it, pick up. it up. Yeah, I'll pick it up because pick it, it up. Is it, you know maybe God needs to see you're still appreciative of the small what? things, right? So I mean, yo, dude, fuck dude, it, man, like I, I don't dude. care. I'll pick up a penny. I'll pick up a dollar. I'll pick up whatever. You, like, look, and man, it's I'm not, a, not I'm that I need you. it. It's not that I even need it. No, but it's the fact that I'm still willing to accept my blessings. That's like a sign, you know. Like God sometimes need to see that you're willing to accept. Your blessings. I'm like, man, bring it to me. Hey, bro. Bring I, all hey, my blessings to me. I hear that kind of story from all the rich, like the Bezoses yeah. and all these kinds of the real rich <clears throat> people in the world, man. They mm -hmm. still count pennies. They still count mm -hmm. their little change, man. Yeah. I don't know if I count them, but know, I'll pick them up and I'll put them in my no, pocket. No, I'm not saying I just sit in the military and oh, literally yeah. count them, man. <laughs> but right. trust me, yeah. hey, when you're looking at 72 billion, 390, da, 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 you think they like, hey, hey. It was supposed to be 50 cents. I'm sure somebody miscalculated something. 50 oh, cents yeah. is missing. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you think he got the 72 billion? Yeah, right. 50 cents is missing. Yeah, yeah, somebody need to find about 50 cents. That's a little much for me. But yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. But, you know, but look, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. when you get to the certain mindset, yeah. because yeah. Um, you appreciate it's it. not the accomplishments that they do, but making money is their game. They love that. Yeah. They love quadrupling money. Yeah. So their mind is always on where Could is you every imagine being penny blessed going. Like that? Could you imagine being blessed like that? Uh, yeah, I absolutely could, but I I, I, I would probably do something with it that most yeah. people wouldn't agree with. What would you because, do? Because, ooh, my goodness. First of all- Can I'm I ask a, you that question? Yeah, yeah, can I ask you that? yeah okay. definitely. First of all, and I've always said this to other people, is I'm going to start math centers in the inner city. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start um, um, uh, uh, American finances in the inner cities because wow. you can know everything in this world you want. I don't your black history, yeah, you know it. Your geography, yeah, you know it. Uh, how to business plans, yeah, you know it. But you don't know how money works. Mm -mm. I didn't when I was young. Nobody, nobody. The does. minute I got money, man, what well, was the hottest shoes or the shirt I had to go yep. to go to school waste it. with? Go I got to yep. go waste it. And I was getting, you know, a solo summer job, a couple three hundred dollars here, three hundred dollars there. If I could have just <clears throat> took a piece of that and started, I don't know, look, damn lemonade stand, start two or three of them somewhere, that could have quadrupled that money for the end of the summer. But you don't know how money works. Mm -hmm. So in the inner cities, none of that is prevalent anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I don't care what you do to get your money. When you come here, this is what we're going to show you, mm -hmm. how money works. That's and it. once you start saying, what? They can do that? And we don't have to pay no taxes on it? Mm -hmm. Yes. And when you're done with it, it's going to be this much more. Isn't that but great? you got to leave the principal. And they'll be like, what? I love that, yeah. And then they'll be like, man, you know how much money I got in a shoebox? <clears throat> I got 10 times that. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get you started. Yep. Because one day, when it's all said and done and the streets don't love you no more, which they spit mm -hmm. everybody out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guess yeah. what? Yes, you got do. a building. You got some offices. You got a bunch of stuff that's going on where you go, you know, I don't need this. You got moving. I'm done. Yeah. Everything is still making money because I, I found out how to do it and I put it somewhere. You put it to use. I put it to use. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's cash. I don't care if it's a little job or whatever the hell you got. Learn how money works. And I'm guilty of it too. When, when I was young, I didn't know I had no idea how money Seriously. worked. And there was always somebody that knew how money worked. Yeah. And they always ended up in the long run way mm -hmm. better off. Because mm -hmm. once money starts to grow, it grows, yeah. man. Yeah. It grows. I think I think I, I think I became more good at making money uh -huh. opposed to um, transitioning into more. Yeah. I mean, I know how to transition into more so important, but I think I found out how to make money. And like I'm always finding out new ways how to make money, and I spend money on trying to find out how to make new ways to make money. That's, that's what I do. There you but go. But as far as it, it's working to all at like you know at, at full capacity, that everything is working yeah. at a full thing. I'm not all the way there yet, but I know well, it eventually leads into well. You know, let's 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 look at the uh, 14 year old swole. Yeah. And if you were sitting up at one of them math centers or financial centers, and it was like, well, this is what you need to do, Matthew. Mm -hmm. This, this, that, and the other. And he'd be like, we can do that? Because a lot of them have no idea. Oh, yeah. No, oh, no, yeah, yeah, and it's tax-free. Yeah. You don't have to worry about this, 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 that, and the other, and this is what you're going to do, mm -hmm. but you got to leave it there for this amount of time. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, I got that all day long. So mm -hmm. what? Boom. You sure it's going to work? Yeah, everybody does this. Mm -hmm. This is what they do on Wall Street. This is yeah. what they do 
uh, uh, at these at, at these big financial places and mm-hmm. shit. And then you start to understand the real game. The real game is 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 money manipulation. Yeah. The real game is leveraging. Mm-hmm. Then once you start to understand that, now you playing with what the, what what they say in the movie Baby Boy? You got guns and butter. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You got the guns. You got you your got the butter. butter. Now, once mm-hmm. you understand that, now you got guns. Yeah. You can walk into anybody's business yeah. and just, hey, I would like to do this, 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 that, and the other. Well, who are you that we should listen to? And you know, this is my banker. You brought your banker. No, he insisted that he come along. I don't need him, but he wants to be here. Mm-hmm. And he was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. A, a banker? Yeah, and that other one is my lawyer. Mm-hmm. And you might be like every bit of 21 years old. And, mm-hmm. the and then they're going to mm-hmm. open up a case of whoop ass on the dude and yeah. be like, this is what we need, this, 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 that, and the other. Can you do? We know all about your business. We know your bottom line. This, yeah. And you're sitting there like this, 21 years old. Yeah. Because you learned at 14. Yeah. How money How amazing works. is that? And nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to do That's that. That's crazy. Nobody wants to do that. That's crazy. It's not sexy. No. I don't know it's why. not sexy. It sounds sexy to me. Well, yeah, because you know you're a man who wants you're an entrepreneur. Yeah, and the, yeah. and the but I didn't know what I, I, I didn't know what we didn't know what was. No, we, I didn't even know what the word meant for like not at that time. age. Not, I didn't think I know what entrepreneur meant until I was like 20 years old, 21 years old. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Start them early. Yeah, right. Start them way you know, down there. Like eight. They come home talking yeah. about mom. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be an entrepreneur. I'm, I'm, I took my little work study mm-hmm. money or whatever money I got, and this is what I did. This, open this, up that, the LLC. Open up. Yeah, she's like, what you know about LLC? What? What are you talking about? Don't worry. About five years, you'll see. Rob and when counts, everything right, keeps yeah. going, everything's keeps going. Because five years from now, you're still going to be doing some shit, so yeah. might as well be making some money. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to do. I would take that that's amazing, and man. open like up that. those financial centers in all the inner city neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. Anybody can walk into that bad boy. I'm going to have the best teachers in there. And uh, you can also can have some classes online. Whatever you want to do, but it's always going to be about money. I love that, man. Always going to be about money, because that's where... The survivalist lack, like you said, when you go to those hoods, they're trying to survive. Yeah, they're, they're trying to just run in other people's pockets. Yeah, there's no resources. There's, there's but, no resources. But what you see, yeah, yeah, but what you see. So when you start learning that that's how money works, okay, shoot, I can get a little job and do that. Mm-hmm. I ain't got to get it in these streets like that. Yeah, you don't got to risk. The streets yourself, come. Right? Yeah, the risk. The streets the risk. come with a risk. Mm-hmm. They call them penitentiary chances. <laughs> penitentiary chances. E-40. I love it. <laughs> Forty forty from there. So yeah, I, I, that's what I would do if I had that kind of a resource, and that would be that would, that would be my only thing. I'd be like, look, I'm gonna do this. That's dope, man. And uh, I'm gonna set all these kids on a straight path to understanding the American financial system. Mm, that'd be dope, man. Yeah, and then once you, because it's a lot of people to understand it, and they're well off mm-hmm. because you know this is how money works. You, and it, it's people that can dip their hands into money that's not even theirs. Just like, how, how are you able to do that? Yeah, I'm, I'm part of a, um, I forget what they call them on Wall Street, um, oh, where everybody pools money and we all invest in this, this, that, and the other, mm-hmm. and then whatever the investment, we're all part owners of it, and you can just run up to, yeah, I own all part of all this. Yeah, it's kind of like about timeshares do it. And, you know, yeah, yeah kind of like yeah. timeshares. Yeah. Kind of like that. But with a bunch of damn money that we're yeah. all going to go and invest. Invest in like it's that, quicker you know? and yeah, have, a, have more of a game plan to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, so, I'm, I'm with that. So. Yeah. And you know, uh, if you're in survival mode, you're a sponge. Mm-hmm. You will soak up a lot of information because you're trying to get out of survival mode. Yeah. And the number one thing that can get you out of fi- uh, survival mode is finances. Mm-hmm. So the minute you, you're able to do that and you learn that, you're oh. like, okay. As soon as you feel some money in your pocket, your attitude starts changing Yeah, too. And, and just remember, yeah. it's money that you didn't have to go out and run and get. Mm-hmm. So now you're not looking over your shoulder for yeah, it. Yeah, man. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Jeez, So bro. you're like, okay, I get how this works. Mm-hmm. Now I can further it. I can teach my own. And then you change the culture of the inner city. Mm-hmm. You know what? And people say, oh, well, yeah. You he can- made this money. Uh, look at look, look at Johnny. Oh, man, yeah. you see him make that move? Yeah. How'd you do it? John, man, the how'd you get that move? But yeah, how'd, yeah. You, how'd, you get that, how'd yeah. you get that property, man? Mm-hmm. He said, get me. Oh, this, it's me as these properties around here. I don't know yeah. nothing about them. No, we don't know nothing about yeah. them. Okay, come over to the financial center. The financial center will have a map of everything in this mm-hmm. neighborhood that is for sale and mm-hmm. what it's for sale for. How you need to start filling out the paperwork. Because sometimes paperwork, like I said before, we're just scared of paperwork. Oh, mm. man, I don't, I, it's so secure. Oh, man, and I don't know all this stuff. We're going to teach you how to fill out all that shit. Mm. And you may not get it, but now you're not scared to do it. Right. Don't be scared to do it. Yeah. Go fill out 10 of them. One of them might say, yeah. yeah right. And you might go around there and look at your building, your building and be like, oh, man, I see why they gave me this building. 
okay, well, mm -hmm. you know what? Let's see what we're going to do. There's some students over here at UCLA, USC. And they're in their, um, whatever their little program is. Mm -hmm. I forget what they call when they're building shit and all that kind of stuff. You, know, you can pay them enough to come over here and do this or whatever. Maybe you can get them to do it for credit. I don't know. Yeah. Tell the teachers or professors or whatever. Yeah. But you can always find somebody. We're going to build it up. Once you build it up, we're going to show you how to advertise. Now you advertise, you get somebody in it. Maybe it's just somebody who wants a garage. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody wants to build a loft. Yeah. But you got the building, it's up to code, it's up to specs, because you learned all over at the financial yeah, center. You get the free and intern workers, yeah. Now yeah. you own the land it's on yeah. and you own it. And you got free labor almost. Cheap labor at least. Cheap labor at least. Yeah, you know. So now you're learning it, you're getting it, you're mm -hmm. moving, but nobody ever teaches that. They nobody. Don't nobody. Teach that. Isn't that sad? Yeah, because, well, number one, if they teach that, you're no longer a worker. We need yeah. workers. Yeah. That's the whole country yeah. wants to keep you working. Hey, if you. World does not work without workers. That's the world for sure. does not work without workers. So yeah. that's what they want to keep you doing, man. The big